first event today is the last man standing deadlift. Very easy. All you've got to do is bend over and pick this bar up. Problem is, the starting weight is 320 kilos, and the world record is 410 kilos. Now, Derek, 410 kilos, can the world record go today? Oh, absolutely. I think you have some of the best deadlifters in the world here outside of powerlifting. Even in powerlifting, you have some of the strongest guys. I think Mark Felix, absolutely. Terry Hollins, no doubt about it. And believe it or not, the, the giant six foot eight Brian Shaw, I think he can even have a, have a go at it. I saw him pull 500 kilos from 11 inches at the Arnold Classic just a couple weeks ago. So there's no doubt in my mind it's going to go today. It just matters who's going to win the event, which is going to be most impressive. It's a rising bar competition, and Rafa Wilczynski found the early weights too hard. They went out at 350 kilos, so too Gary Gardner. Well, Ricardo Nort hit the opening weight, then went for 395. Strain, but I'm afraid he didn't get it. So the bar goes up once again. We're on to 412 kilograms. These are the men left in. So we're at a world record weight, and it's only round three. Such is the quality. Gerrit Badenhorst, I remember back in Mauritius when he hit that 410 kilos. A lot of people thought that would not be bettered. Now we have a lineup of men ready to beat it. Alex Coletto of Italy first. Used to live in New Jersey. Now, actually, his home is in the Midlands of England. He's pulled 400 kilos in the gym. You're allowed straps in the strongman deadlift. Everything else, though, is the same as powerlifting in terms of just getting it up on a normal height bar, but I'm afraid Coletto goes out. So... Uh, he gets given 390 as his mark. Now, Darren Sadler, 395 kilos, his best ever lift. Never gone over the 400 kilo mark, so this is really asking quite a lot. Especially when you consider he's uh, the lightest man in the field by a long way. This British crowd would just love to see Someone like Sadler hit the world record here in England. Just a last minute psych up. No, he was really thinking long and hard. And you can see from the smile, I think he thought uh, all along that would be too much. Now, Vitautas Lalas lives in Dublin. Lithuanian, Lithuania's strongest man, actually. Zaviskas didn't take part in this year's contest. This guy is a real surprise package. He's almost as wide as he is tall. It's off the ground. Oh, stalls at the knees, and uh, I'm afraid it's a no for Lalas. Turner Mark Felix. Again, strapping in. Seen Felix do 4.05 before. 4.12 and a half. Quite close. This is a big mental barrier over the world record. The man from England has done it. He gets the down signal from referee Gregor Edmonds. And indeed... Dave Beatty, the two referees, former world champion and world record holder in powerlifting. He'll have enjoyed watching that. Kept it coming all the way, Mark Felix. Drove the hips in. And now it's over to Lawrence Charley. Oh, look at the eyes. Reminds me of Bill Kazmaier from the 80s. Super sight. Charley reckons he's done 420 in the gym. Well, there's a lot of gym talk that goes around. Let's see if he can do it in competition. Oh, fairly easy. Very quick off the floor. Stalled slightly at the top of the hips, but that was a good lift. I 
think he could be good for 420 even. This will be interesting what weight we choose next, but we still have Terry Hollins and indeed Brian Shaw from the USA to come. Now Hollins actually uh, tore a muscle in his buttocks about uh, two months prior to this and indeed tore uh, some bicep fibers as well so he's uh, a bit of the walking wounded at the moment great lift that was really smooth from hollands he comes from about 10 miles down the road so there'll be a lot of hollands fans here so Lawrence, three Brits have done it now. You, Hollands, and Felix. That's a great world record. Must feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels great. To have three of us do it, even better. Shows the Brits are strong. How about Brian Shaw now, last man to go in the round? Yeah, Brian's gonna get this. He's phenomenal. But um, we're gonna try and push him today. I'm sure, sure we're gonna make him work hard at least. So there's more in the tank. I got 420 in me. All right. So Brian Shaw up next, the giant American, second at world's strongest man in 2010. The deadlift's the king, really. I mean, there's a lot of guys that, that you know, that's what you, wa you walk into the contest and ask the other guys, you know, what are you pulling, you know? And it's just kind of a, a way, almost a, a, in a way, a manhood test. It's kind of like, well, what, you know, how much can you deadlift? It's just the general question between strongmen. And uh, it, it's, you know, not very often that we get to do a standard deadlift with a standard bar and standard plates and just, just go for it. Well, I learned a lot from World's Strongest Man last year and took a step back and said, well, you know, I'm in second. You know, I've always thought I had a lot of room to improve, and, and uh, you know, I still think that. But uh, you know, so far this year, I feel good, and, and uh, you know, I'm in shape. So we'll see how, how the contest goes. Come on back! We hope you win. Thank you. He's a big hit with the locals, Brian Shaw. Hard to miss him, of course, at six foot eight. Now, 400, 12 and a half kilos. Oh. That was easy. Hard to believe you are watching such a heavy weight being just ripped off the ground with ease. Well, Charlie said he's good for 420. I think Shaw might be good for more. 420 it is on the bar. Referee Gregor Edmonds there in the black cowboy hat just to keeping an eye on the weight. And into the bar comes Mark Felix of Blackburn, England. 45 years old now. Amazing, really. Didn't come to strongman until his mid to late 30s. Take the world record to 420. It's slow. He's got it. Yes, he's got his hips through. And the down signal. But boy, did he have to work for that. World record for Felix. <laughs> I think that is the absolute limit for Mark. Wow, Lawrence Charley, goodness me. Totally in the zone. And he's got to be. This is a weight that may well beat all the others, and it certainly extends the world record if he does it. To get a world record on the deadlift. One of the absolute kings of uh, strength movements, if not the king. Oh, he rips it quick. Oh, he's just got to finish that last section off, and he's done it. He has done it. The hips come through, and unlike powerlifting, you are allowed to stall in strongman and jack it up the thighs. And that's exactly what he did there, just kept on pulling. See what that weight does to the metal bar. 420 kilos. Terry Hollands. He always rips it quick. Super fast off the ground, but well, I'm afraid for Terry Hollands. I think those injuries have finally caught up with him. Well, you really couldn't get any more crowd around the strongman here. The Expo crowd are loving this. Brian Shaw to hit 420 and stay in the contest with Lawrence Charley. 
Thanks to roll it in it himself to get over that initial inertia. Some lifters do that. Pops it. Oh, flies off the floor. Goodness me, that was better than his 4 12 and a half. And Shaw is definitely still in this competition. Very impressive from Brian Shaw. He is looking good for uh, quite a bit more weight. He might be six foot eight, but he's got the arms of a seven foot eight man. They're so long, makes uh, deadlifting all the easier. So in comes Mark Felix, hit 420, just. He's the first man out at 430 kilos. So the bar just keeps going up and up. He was right on the limit at 420. This would be a monumental effort if he hits this. If you don't get it at the first time, very, very rarely do you get it at a second pull. No, that's rooted. Good effort. Little wry smile from uh, the old man of the strongman world. He knew he probably wouldn't do that. Gave it a go anyway. Lawrence Shawley, though, the belief is there. He looks like a man who believes in himself at 4.30. One thing about Lawrence Charlet, he is so improved over the last couple of seasons that sometimes a guy like this just has no inhibitions about weights, no barriers, because he keeps improving, he has never stalled. He's got to try and get it up the thighs here, he keeps jacking it and jacking it. Get the hips in. Yes, he's been given it. The world record goes to 430 kilos. And it's right back at you, Brian Shaw. He's wasting no time, Shaw. He wants this. Charging in. Almost forgot to do his belt up there. Just using the uh, blue iron mine straps that so many of the top lifters use. Keeps his grip strong. Well, that's the first time he's really stalled up the thighs, but it's an easy enough lift. 4.30 looks good. And if you were a betting man now, you'd bet on Shaw. He looks solid there. The weight did just drop a little bit before he attacked it again. Well, Charley, they're talking about what weight to go to now. They've called for 440, and Charley's played some games here. He's now pulled out, so it's Shaw who goes for another world record to stand alone. 440 kilograms. 970 pounds. Does he have it in him? To take the world record again. Oh, it's stuck and he just didn't have the energy to keep going. He did three or four good attempts up the thighs there, but it was absolutely stuck. Well done indeed to Brian Shaw, but in the end, it's a draw for Charley and Shaw with a new world record, 430 kilograms.